Hello there, and welcome back to Spellblaze Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we left off, uh, we just sort of got introduced to the Wizarding World with Aldor Tenebris here. We got attacked by dragons whilst flying to Hogwarts, I believe, and been sort of showing around by Professor Fig. And we wound up in Gringotts Bank, headed towards Vault Number Twelve which apparently no one has ever entered. So we'll see what's so special about it. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Ooh, chest here, another 21 quid. Nice. Oh, L3 to sprint, that's a good sign. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Sounds awfully shady. We're in the chokey. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay. So steady your wand and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's like Guitar Hero. Okay. So you have to press X. And then X again. Oh. And we've joined the Illuminati. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. It's a glowing star. symbol. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the pool key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Well, I've got to lead the way. You're the Professor. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay. Riddles in the dark. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Okay, can I walk into it? Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What it's statue? upside down. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Can I do Revelio? Revelio. I presume this is Wait. what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. The spell to learn. Who 
required the one lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been added to your slotted spell set. Creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. Oh. It does follow the light. Okay. Is it going to walk along that little stream? Look out! This doesn't bode well. Well, this is dramatic. I do have it set to easy mode. I didn't go story because I didn't want it to be a complete walk in the park. Oh, little shield bubble. The shovel. Okay, so if I lock on. Whoa, sword's getting a bit glitchy. Stay close. Will do. What if I do Lumos? Well, that was well timed. <laughs> Professor, you can't Professor be a well timed Lumos. Professor, where are you? Yeah, this Professor. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, Into the fire of Olympus here. I glow again. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay. Lumos. We're gonna have to one man take all this lot down. Oh, okay. It There's multiple. No choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Bring it on. Whole triangle to stun enemies with a stupefy. Okay, so it's like a little parry type thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Combo magic. Combat. Lumos. Okay. Speed things up a bit with sprint. Oh, this looks promising. And doorway. I'm getting proper God of War 3 flashbacks here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Can I just walk through this? Ooh, okay. I've got no fire, Corbin Dallas. Okay, into the font. Is that the key? No. What the hell is that? Did you 
you. What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Oh, is this, um, Occlumency? The thing that Snape teaches Harry? My lead. Yeah. Nice beard. too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Oh, so I guess that makes us the chosen one. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. Oh, is that Ragnarok? I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have Oh, that's the end of the banker, then. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Okay.
close call. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Okay, well, it's made a good first impression, this game. Even if it does remind me a lot of God of War 3 in certain aspects. And there we have it. A magical world of Avenger awaits us. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Sorry, Professor, but I shan't tell lies. to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. And stick that hat on. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? It's Jimmy Savile. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Ooh, conversation. Um, I'm up for learning stuff. I can't wait to start classes. Let's be nice I'm and studious. forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. 
Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. I'd take that. Sorting hat will take your choice into account. Gryffindor house, known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Oh, so you can choose your own house. Um, do we want to be in Gryffindor? I mean, it is the, the main one we might get given the sword of Gryffindor. That might be a perk. I, I don't know. Slytherin, those are the bad guys. I don't think I'll be in Slytherin. Hufflepuff just seem a little bit meh. Uh, Ravenclaw. I don't really know anything about Ravenclaw. You know what? Let's be that guy. Let's just go with Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor! What is it with these teachers changing our clothes? They need to learn some personal boundaries. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, like finishing this meal. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? Sherbet lemons? The password is Grata Domum. Oh, okay. Grata Maybe not. Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'm just noticing that Aldor's voice is rather deep. <laughs> and kind of robotic. I'll put it down to a magical curse on his voice or something. Looks well, like that was a good night's sleep. Room. Better head to the common room. Hmm. Had better. Okay, we should be able to save now. Yes. Right, I think that's going to conclude part two here as we've successfully made our way to Hogwarts. Um, after encountering Ragnarok the Dwarf, that's what I'm going to be calling him. Yeah, we're in Gryffindor. Life is good. We've got some stuff over here. We'll have a little bit of an explore next time. Join us back here then to see what adventures are in store for young Eldor here. See you then.